Alrighty then. Magnum rounds, sure. Well, this place got mildly extended. <laughs> the Act. So this is the prototype uh, Crimson Head that I already defeated. All right, login is John. Password is Ada. Oops. Verify. All right, so unlock the third floor flirt. First. All right. Now for the second one. Yep, this is where we enter the secret password. Let's see what happens if we put in mole first. So much for that. Sell. There you go. Alrighty then. And we're done. pointless at this point. A slide filter. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Huh. It looks like a refueling device. Huh. Well, that didn't take anything, so what's the big deal? A security system passcode transmission device. If I had a MODISC, why does it say an MODISC? <laughs> it's a typo. You could transmit the passcode to the system. All right, we'll use one of these. Nice. It just transmits. It just transmits the code instead of making it a file and then entering it later. Facts.
disc. Film has been set into place. View it, sure. Umbrella. MA-39, also known as the Cerberus. FI-03, also known as Neptune. <laughs> MA-121, also known as the Hunter. Curse those things. And the T-002, the, the Tyrant. And the Bioorganic Weapons Research Group. Development Staff. And on the very right, there's Albert Wesker and his deception. And a barcode for some reason. Hold on. What happens if I put this filter in it? The there are red colored slides inside, nothing's on it. Okay. Alright, so now. Ah, it's blocking out some of it. 8462. I wonder what that's for. There's clearly something over there. A passcode entry terminal. Oh, there you go. So 8462. There you go. Oh, and here's a map of the lab. <laughs> Lots of levels. And security protocols. Obviously, someone covered that up. So, this is a shotgun shell? Sure. And we got the laboratory key. Key for the power area. What's this? Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you could use it to view Kenneth's film. Oh, there you go. Jeez. So now it goes to both doors. This door used to be just be locked from the other side. <laughs> I just creamed you. It's rusted shut and all colors, man.
there's like nothing in here of use. <laughs> So all these areas now are connected. So here's the mo Well, yeah, of course. They were in the original too, but this is like a new... S Hold on. Oh, another Modisk reader. So this is the morgue, which is normal, and of course the, on the other side is the, uh, is the little examination table, what, whatnot. Okay, I get it. rusted shut. So I couldn't enter from that side. Elevator isn't working. No power. Typical. Final save room. Some eight shells, sure. The refrigerator isn't turned on. All right, I'm gonna finally break out the magnum. explode if shaken or jarred. Oh, we've already seen that warning. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. Okay. Well, might as well go fill back up then. Feeling device at the capsule, yep. I got the fuel supply capsule. Main ingredient appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Alright, so I gotta walk my way back to that power room.
I can take little strides here and there, but I can't continuously run for like more than five seconds. I know because I tested it off camera before I started this full play. Now we got fuel. And the last MoDisc device, of course. The same exact area as it was in the original. At least this place isn't nearly as loud as it was in the original. Self-destruct mechanism is huge. <laughs> Alright, no power. Start it up. There you go. don't have time to deal with all these chimeras. I'll just avoid them anyway. weapons. I already got health. I don't know why I said that, but I'm going to get the grenade launcher back out. Jill! Barry! You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. 
The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Introducing the tyrant. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Ow. Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. Ouch. Well, that was <clears throat> stupid, Barry. Went right into- No, Barry! You viral cultured freak! Way to die, he's holding something. Observation note. Didn't <laughs> look at how he type out how he misspelled misspelled progenitor. Primogenitor? <laughs> Three main antagonists of the series all in one. Wesker, William Birkin, and Alexia Ashford. <laughs> They're all researching their own things. Barry! Barry! <sighs> uh, you're okay. <sighs> Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. <sighs> ah, the door is electronically locked. Well then, let's go unlock it. Experimental data. Is to release the electronic lock. All right, there you go. 
unspeakably ugly creatures in here. Yeah, right, we can just go right through there, I didn't realize. Wesker must have sent it off. Let's hurry. I didn't do something the way I sort of planned it, whatever, it's not a big deal. I meant to see Chris before this alarm started going off. Jill! Chris, you're okay! Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. Fuck off! I said I hit the fire button. You know what? Fuck off. I swear to God, if I die by this thing. system has been activated. 